road to Jasper Canyon. So what they had to do, they had to hoist that large truck over the canyon wall with a large crane. And I know the truck might not look like it's in that great shape, but it still works. Let's just hope they're going to put the brakes on. Now this canyon was designed after real run out in California. It took them six months to build it. Believe me, that is a long time for one set, but as you can look around, it was worth the effort. Now the ramp sequence, hope, which I'm hoping we'll get to see the way they did that. The shuttle itself was parked underneath the large ledge, then high above the ledge, just right outside of camera range. They had this huge powerful sprinkler system that they turned upside down. The reason why they turned it upside down is when they turn it on, it gets swirls like the wind is actually blowing through the rain. Wait about a minute. Oh, wait, we are going to see it. There it goes. Look at the top of the truck. See how the rain's barely touching the very top? But remember, it is a movie rain, so it's just a few feet deep. And then, and then the truck started out. What's going on in here? We're just supposed to be getting the rain sequence. Did this car move? Because they're not buildings, they're painted flats. 
and the old movie church they call Forest Perspective. Makes the buildings look a lot taller than what they really are. The real Empire State Building is over 100 stories tall, and ours well is just a little over four. And off to the right again, that's the Toontown Dipmobile from Who Brave Roger Rabbit. This will conclude part one of the backstage tour. Now don't miss that second part. Pick it up at your convenience at this time.